Hello, friends! In March 2011, construction worker Sean Funk went to the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology in Alberta to see an impressive dinosaur exhibit. He walked through the halls full of ancient bones and had no idea that in just a week, he would make an addition to this collection by unearthing one of the most remarkable fossils in history. Sean Funk was digging a foundation pit, just like he'd been doing for the past 12 years. It was for the energy company Suncor. Slowly, the excavator bucket sank deeper into the sand soaked with bitumen. It appeared thanks to the organisms that lived there over 100 million years ago. Sean found fossilized wood before, but never animal remains, let alone a dinosaur. At one point, the excavator bucket picked up something solid and rather large. As he was raising the bucket, stones of a strange color fell through the bucket teeth. As news of the discovery reached Suncor executives, they turned to the museum. Henderson and Darren Tank, an experienced lab assistant, immediately flew out to Fort McMurray on a plane provided by the company. They joined the Suncor miners. They worked together in the mud and dust in shifts of 12 hours. Finally, they managed to cut out a rock weighing 6.8 tons, which had the dinosaur inside. The cameras were filming as they started raising it, but unfortunately, something terrible happened. The rock with the dinosaur started breaking into pieces. Oil sands are a very loose material. The fossil couldn't simply withstand its own weight. Tank spent the whole night coming up with a plan to save the dinosaur. The next morning, Suncor workers covered the fossil fragments with plaster so that the paleontologists could take them to the museum. Instead of a wooden formwork, it was decided to use rolled burlap soaked in a solution of gypsum. The plan worked, having traveled 675 kilometers to the museum. The team handed the valuable cargo over to the proprietor, Mark Mitchell. Work on the extraction of the dinosaur lasted five years. Mark spent 7,000 hours working with surgical precision, clearing the rock off the fossil surface. We have to fight for every millimeter, he said. Now, the paleontologists have the most preserved dinosaur skeleton in the history of science. One could even say that this dinosaur was mummified with natural material. The dinosaur turned out to have been embalmed for natural reasons. He got into the oil sand. Thus, the scientists have put together a large, three-meter-long dinosaur. The Canadian dinosaur had its scales and bone plates preserved, which served to protect the neck and shoulders. The neck remained turned to the left, as if it was going to feast on succulent leaves growing on a branch. Despite the fact that only the front part remained, according to the researchers, this is the best dinosaur fossil. During its lifetime, the dinosaur was 5.5 meters long, weighed almost one and a half tons, and belonged to the family of Nodosaridae. Today, anyone who's hungry for discovery can count the scales on the sole of its right foot and see how the skin fits over the protrusions on the skull. Jacob Winter from the University of Bristol is studying the color of the dinosaur and managed to collect skin samples that contained melanin. The paleobiologists agreed that the mummy was a nodosaurus that fed exclusively on plants. It had a half meter long, horn-like spikes on its shoulders and spiked armor. But there was no mace at the end of the tail. This giant roamed the earth about 110 million years ago and was a loner. Now museum staff are checking the contents of the dinosaur's intestines to determine what its last meal was. They're also trying to analyze its bones. It's usually the easiest step of fossil analysis, but not this time, because the dinosaur's skeleton is hidden by skin. The scientists have tried to use a CT scanner, but their attempts haven't been successful so far, because the skin is too dense. However, they hope that with the advancement of technology, they will be able to finally take a look inside. Paradoxically, the dinosaur is simply too well-preserved. Friends, that's all for today. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.